Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Swift tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to detect when a tab bar button has been clicked and um, one of my viewers asked how to activate haptic feedback when it's clicked so I'll show you guys how to do that. And yeah, this is just going to be showing you guys how to detect when a tab bar button has been clicked and uh, what view control it was on. So let me just call this a uh, tab bar click demo. Uh, I'll just create it there. And okay, so what we're gonna do first is I'm just gonna create the tab bar. So if I just go here and search for a tab bar uh, controller, we can add that in here. And now we can just replace this first item with view controller. And I'll just attach this like this control drag and relationship segue. And I'll just move that over there. And also, I will change this image so it actually looks like an image so let's just have a pencil this one I'm gonna say uh, view one oh oops that was the wrong thing this is the title view one and for this I'll just have uh, view two and I'll have a trash can I always use the same sort of symbols and I'll just have a different uh, background color for each so for this one I'll have like teal Okay, so now if I run this, this should be our basic tab bar setup, and now I'll show you guys how to detect when the button is clicked. So, oh, I need to make this initial. So this isn't actually going to be uh, for each individual view controller, it's just going to be in the actual tab bar, so you can only do generic operations, but it'll still be quite useful. So, now to show you guys how to detect when it's clicked, first thing I'm going to do is going to create a new file. In this, so click new file and uh, click touch plus and make sure it's subclass of UI tab bar. And I'm just going to call this a uh, haptic. Actually, I'll just call this um, tab bar class, but you can name that anything you want. Click create. Uh, I'm just going to drag this in over here. So now, what I can do uh, is first, I'm just going to delete all of this, delete all of this. So you can see this is basically like a normal class except for tab bar. And I'm going to attach this to uh, this tab bar which we have here. So make sure you have the same thing, tab bar class, you see it appear there. And now we can start coding here. So what we need to do is we need to import the delegate, so UI tab bar uh, controller delegate. And then in the view did load, we'll set that to uh, self. So self.delegate is equal to self. And now that you've done that, all you actually have to do now after this is you just type in did select and you see there's two and you want to go for the second option I mean it doesn't really matter but the second option actually gives you the view controller so it's more useful and now what you can do is if I just print uh, item selected then we should just get this printed every time we click on an item in the tab bar so click that click that and you can see it keeps saying item selected so if I click it again there's another one and yeah so that's how you detect when it's selected and you also get the view controller so you can't really do much with this but you do know which one it is and yeah now my view asked uh, how would I put haptic feedback in this so what you do is you can see it's detecting every time so what you can do is I'm just going to print uh, haptic feedback and what we have to do is just use normal haptic feedback code. So let generator is equal to UI impact uh, feedback generator. Uh, oh, I type image UI impact feedback generator. Just select any style here. So I'm just going to go with, uh, let's just say medium. It doesn't really matter. And then you just do generator dot impact occurred. And this should create haptic feedback. So on obviously uh, I'm not really going to feel anything but you can see it's activating here click again a third one activates uh, and click it again you can just see it's adding on and every time that adds on some more haptic feedback has been pressed so yeah this is how you do it first you create the class here and then you just link it up uh, you connect it to your tab bar and then you can just see so see we did nothing in the view controller it's all in the tab bar and then in did select function we just uh, do the haptic feedback 
So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.